Hello guys, and welcome back to the League of Legends. Today, we are going to be Nunu in the jungle. Wait for the wall to end. Okay, so we're going to start off with a gromp, like our usual kind of style. So we can go and get the health from the red buff. Well, no, we might just start off the Krugs, actually. Because he's Nunu is very good in terms of whatever, in terms of sustain, so I don't think we need the red buff, and it might be good to get the blue buff's mana regen at that point. So let's see. Uh, I don't know what elementals is. This is kind of new for him. Increased size and maximum health. Un animals are undead. Killing unit grants. 15 minutes of movement speed for 3 seconds. Nunu's attack spell and deal damage for 1% of his health of magic damage. Okay, so this is basically what he gets. Bonus is when he gets when he was consumed. It's different from b before. By the way, that's the new um, Lux skin. Let's give you a close up. It's actually, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's based off Sailor Moon. Thanks, I'm Sailor Moon. Does me play when I teleport? <laughs> it's a pretty nice skin. I think this looks pretty nice, and it's pretty colorful, and it's a nice reference. I mean, I never really don't really know what Sailor Moon's about too much, other than you know magical goals. So, yeah. Hope you guys aren't too annoyed that she keeps playing the music. I mean, I don't mind, but I don't. I hope you guys don't mind. Hey guys, do you play with the default enhancer? Yes. So let's see, let's go over the team so quick. Oh, I just forgot about that for the most part. You just go for this force, and then it's almost like you have a second smite. So let's see. They have a mid Anivia. No, we have a mid Anivia. Top Aatrox. Jungle Nunu. And Support Lux and ADC Quinn. They have a mid team. I know it's mid team, even though he has Teleport. Blood Boy will probably be best. Use it on myself. Then they have Jungle Trundle, Top Olaf, Support Volleyball, and ADC Varus. Okay, so I'm getting my butt kicked a little bit, but I know I'll get healed as soon as I have my my consume, and that'll keep me kind of healed throughout the thing. So after taking this, and the Heavy Hands is pretty good because it allows me to get off more auto attacks, and it's kind of better on Nunu than starting Gromp. I don't know if I really need the Poison, because... You start off Gromp, you get poison, it helps you clear, but then you also go to the red buff. It's also for having the smites on the red buff. I can go straight to the blue buff, then I'll go to Gromp. And I might just not need it. I might be able to get the poison. It's actually kind of cool, because if I go ahead and gank a lane, I might still have the poison on me. Which will be pretty nice. So I'll save my Ignite. I don't think I have anything to worry about counter jungling, especially from... A trundle. He's more of a anti- The one thing that worries me though is he's kind of anti-tankish. Meaning that if you go up against him, elemental, I believe this is an elemental, I get increased size, yeah, I look a bit bigger in my opinion, I get extra health, so that's pretty much it. I don't know how long it lasts though, it probably says someone here, elemental delight, mystery meat, <laughs> from the other monsters, so that's kind of funny. Let's see, what do I get here? This will be for whatever. When I need to go and get it. But let's see, does that give me mystery meats, well fed? Okay, so I'm not getting too much from it. And it seems like we already had a gank mid lane. So he seems pretty low. And it seems like he was going off towards his red buff. So. Ah, uh, yeah, I got his flash. Now I can counter jungle with him. I don't really care if it gets stoned too much. I just want the buff of it. And he's just being somewhat annoying. <laughs> and then Teemo flashes too. That's hilarious. So they think they're going all around me and catching me out or something. And then they <laughs> go ahead and just give me the whole pot. So I'm going to put a ward here. <laughs> so I'm going to go. Okay, it's just funny because they think they're really doing a lot to me. And it's, I'm just like taking them out. So they should be back now and I should be free to take his red buff. So I'm 
Nunu is actually known as a control jungler, if you don't know, which means he's more about kind of controlling and kind of shutting down the enemy jungler. Which, Nunu is definitely going to be a bit of a problem later. So hopefully I can take him out a bit early. I'm going to power up my E, simply because that will be for helping me with ganks. Okay. So, I mean, hopefully I have enough my smites up in time, because I want to take this to my smite for the heavy hands bonus. And it's just good health. I don't know if I would want to go from behind with the Olaf. Yeah, he's a pretty high level. <laughs> huh. Now, if Olaf reacts, I'm sure that's kind of what he's hoping for, is he's chasing me. And I'm getting slowed, but I mean, I'm not too worried, specifically because I have not only my Aatrox here. I'm just not afraid of him. You know, my Aatrox doesn't have his passive, so I might just go in, throw a snowball at him. Take him out. Okay, now the Teemo's here. Now I'm a little bit, um, worried, but I know he popped his flash so I'm kind of totally fine with that so Timo is near dead I mean if Olaf goes after me I don't think he'll fully be able to get me and I'm going in this way so he, he kind of can't predict where I'm going and throw another axe at me so all in all I feel like we kind of won that Aatrox did die but we kind of stalled the Olaf enough he wasn't really able to make any big plays off having his lane gone so let's see. And that's probably why you get the Poacher's Knife, since you're going to be in the enemy jungle a lot. Boots Mobility will be pretty well off too, considering I'm going to be going into his jungle a lot. And if you read, like, the a definition, it's scavenging smite. When you smite larger monster in the enemy jungle, you gain half the charge of smite, meaning I get my smite just comes off cooldown much faster. So I'm going to go and start farming his jungle, kind of be a jerk about it, because that's kind of what Nunu is all about. And I still have Mystery Meat and Elemental Delight, so for the most part, I'm pretty fine. Okay, so top lane is now struggling a bit. <laughs> he has his, uh, they're all taken. And I believe I just saw a ward go down. Come on, why don't you come over here? Come on. So, I mean, I'm just going to be here to be a big pain in his side. I kind of like how they change colors, but this gray, I think, looks actually pretty nice. Gonna get this down for my team. Gonna slow him. I don't really. F team was coming down a bit, but my team I feel like could react pretty well if he does continue. And I'm not afraid of him. Just gonna go ahead and <laughs> he just runs away. So let's see. I'm just gonna come do a bit of poke. I'm not like I said. Sure, I might take some damage, but I have my consume. I'm not at all afraid of him. Okay, now I'm a little bit afraid. <laughs> Did I say I wasn't afraid? <laughs> Sorry, I meant I'm terrified. Now I need to make sure he doesn't hit me with his arrow. I guess he's going pretty deep for me, but that only gives our chance a better our team. Of, he's not only kind of being lost. Okay, he used that. So he's just kind of continuously like coming after me. That's wasting a lot of time on his part. He's not getting any foam. And he's in our jungle now, meaning he might get into some trouble. Spooky snacks. Okay, so that's animals, I believe. And they give me a boom and speed buff for three seconds. So it's pretty short, though. So I'm going to start building in terms of the Cinder Hulk. Though, sadly, I had a recall pretty soon, and it seems like our team's having a bit of struggle. trouble. Quinn was low, so she probably should have just backed. Nivea went to mid lane. I don't know why they kind of fought that. I'm just going to take out this ward. Don't need any. They don't need the extra vision. Though, hopefully, my red is still up. I don't think we took any of them down, and it wouldn't be too crazy to think that they would try to counter jungle me just because I kind of counter jungle him you know a little revenge as you might call it but you know it turns out he did it and I'm gonna like save my spite now to kind of if I go into his jungle or if I really need it like I don't know I'm probably not gonna need it and when I f I mean I might get really low on this but I have the kind of ability to heal off it so it's all well and done and I mean I'm low for me, but now when I go to other jungle camps in my thing, and I eat them, it's going to be an easier time for me to eat them. Okay, a one for one trade isn't bad, but Aatrox, I would assume, would have been winning, because he's pretty strong. 
I'm just gonna actually go ahead and do this just so I don't take too much damage and I feel like it's kind of necessary because I don't like want to get counter jungled though I'm gonna be the one counter jungling though Trundle is like a very good counter to people like Nunu especially in this meta because it's all about being a tank and if you think about it, like if you think about if you know Trundle's ultimate it takes away kind of like tank stats from your opponents so hopefully I can take this in time I don't know considering I don't know where he is at the moment but I I'm kinda confident in this that this might work and now I have a speed buff oh wow fail on your part dude or not I mean I should probably be able to get out of this alive if I just run And they shouldn't have really... Sure, I bought my Flash, but it's not a big deal as long as I don't die. I mean, as a team, we're not doing the greatest. So I don't want to give them any more kills. Right now, it's 3-7. to seven. Strongest one of the teams are Volibear, Varus, and Teemo. No, Olaf, I meant. I didn't mean Teemo. Don't know why I said that. But I'm not afraid. I mean, all in all, like, Olaf's... Pro uh, what? So Timo came from behind. He's going to get some damage off on him. So hopefully I can kind of come in and do something here. I'm going to get level 6 soon. So now that Trundle's here, I might not be able to do much and save the turret. But I mean, like, I'm definitely going to have my ult soon. And that's a really big thing in team fights. Like, if anything, if I needed any, like, real ability to fight this if I have any real power spike it'll be right when I get that when I get it when I get my ultimate because it's such a great tool for team fights because you kind of like you can't stand in it for too long because it just gets stronger and stronger you have to either waste CC in order to stop it or you have to like kind of it's there's some kind of sacrifice entailed into it so I'm actually pretty behind the Olaf and so is the Aatrox, but I'm hoping coming behind him. Yeah, we should be able to take him without too much of a problem. Especially with my ultimate. Yep, and he's dead. So that's pretty good on our part. He's gone. And who's teleporting? It's Teemo. I don't I think Teemo's the only one with teleport. So I would tell I would want him to be careful. I might just help him push a bit eat the minion because you know minions are just yummy in my tummy and I haven't been doing a good job as Nunu in terms of counter ganking and I got this just because I it's good for counter ganking in terms of having vision of where he is but I haven't really been using it so much so I'm gonna go and see if I can't just switch it out for this get my Cinder Hulk item become incredibly strong Right now, yeah, that was not, maybe not the best move on the Aatrox's part, simply because I don't th he might not be able to get Teemo. And, okay, now Teemo might just has to back off. But I'm worried about Olaf coming up, so I'm definitely going to come and see if I can't just be up there with him. And there's a Shroom here, sadly. But I, like I said before, I don't really care. My consume is one very good on these kind of things. Because I just kind of get healed from it. And I wish I saw a chance to get my blue buff, but it doesn't seem like it. I wonder if he's taken this yet. Yep, he has. So let's see if he's taken this yet. Okay, so that's pretty good. I can still take it. I have my... I mean, I still... I'm going to get my center up pretty fast. I don't know if the minions, like, just barely see me. That might be bad. But Olaf's way too far away to react. And now I have that speed buff to kind of get me out of here. Which is something that's pretty cool with the, having that. It's not just on the poacher's knife, it's on my consume. So it kind of allows me to get out pretty fast. Which is a good mechanic for someone like Nunu who's a big counter jungler. But let's say top is MIA. That's kind of something you got to say. Because we don't want him ganking and taking out the enemy. And there happens to be the Trundle. He's 0-1-2. I mean, he's not too strong. But our team still needs to kind of get back into this game. 
So hopefully you know we can do this just right. Aatrox, I would say be careful. It seems like off is behind him. Don't know if you didn't notice or something. So now I should be able to come in. I'm gonna get more points on my consume. Okay. Anivia is definitely in a bad pickle. But I feel like with a wall and all, and the fact that we're on the outside of the jungle, we should be fine. And this is a perfect kind of opportunity to show you how strong my ultimate is, especially in an area with a bunch of enemies. So I'm going to make sure there's no wards in here. And there's a shroom, actually. Can't eat it. That's sad. I was going to be like, hmm, what if I could eat it? Okay, so you see, like, he used his ultimate on me, so I'm definitely losing a lot of tanky or stats. And Anivia has died. And I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, oh no, no, don't step on the shrooms. There's, there's a shroom right there. Okay, so I don't know why that kind of, they kind of went ahead and did that. Just kind of used my ultimate just to take him out and all. That was kind of a little bit of a waste, if I do say so myself, but I feel like it was kind of worth it. Trundle's down bot, so if we can get behind him. Though there might be a ward here now, considering how cautious he is. And Olaf is going to be a pain in the later stage of the game. I feel like he's probably the biggest pain at this point, because he is the one who's getting continuous kills, and he's not really getting kills for those kills. But, you know, take them out and everything. He got slain, and now he's going to die to the turret. I keep tr uh, I kept trying to use my Q on him, thinking it was my E. So he's flash. That's pretty good. Just getting that flash is worth it, in my opinion. The turret's pretty well health, and I mean I'm gonna back go back, get some items. So let's see. Personally, I'd say next would to be a good item would probably be this. Not only because I said it like I need some help with my mana, because that does give me more mana. It gives me a little bit of. On my level, I'll get regen. And let's say I'm about to level, I'd start regening health and mana pretty fast. And not only that, but then I can go ahead and get the other one, the speed boost. Since I don't have any real gap closes other than my flash, like getting that speed boost on it would be pretty nice as well. They've gotten into dragon, so I don't know if that dragon is up. Uh, let me just see if I can't just take this guy out. I'll take the little one later. So at this point, I don't know if there's any. Wards. Okay, they. I got Shroom, so they should know that I'm here. But let's see if I can't just take this. I don't feel like too threatened by the Teemo. The only real threat right now is the Aatrox. I was going to go and check for this. Check, make sure there's no wards. So, I mean, if our team can kind of peel off there... I don't know why Anivia is trying to fight 1v1 with the Olaf, to be completely honest. But I don't. Now she's kind of, kind of. Now we kind of have to go and help. I don't feel any like real threat to the, from this guy, but he only like delayed my back, which is going to be more of a pain because now Olaf's going to be a little bit having an easier time of taking this turret. And I see Timo there. But I mean, Olaf is at this moment more important. Because we can't take an inhibitor. I mean, even if he does take the turret, we, he can take, we don't want him to then take the inhibitor. Like I said, I don't think I sh can really fight him. He's going to be a tough guy to just kind of fight on our own. But as long as you can kind of take out the means, prevent him from pushing too far. Okay, this is the point where, like, this was not a smart idea for him. We're, we just do a lot of damage on our own. And he's dead. He got really overconfident, considering, especially because if you look at this, like, he's really got a lot of kills, but he also got a lot of death, which kind of is a sign that he's getting overconfident quite a bit. He's kind of going in and fighting. So, Poacher's Knife hasn't been really too much of an effect, but if I kind of gave you the idea of what it's all about, you kind of have to use it a lot if you're going to fight the enemy jungle, and they got the second dragon. It's not important to as the first or the third dragon, because they're the strongest ones. Let's see if I can't just take this out real fast. 
I mean, I don't mind using my cube for a team fight because it's not good for anything in the team fight, considering it only how it gets minions. So it's fine to like have it on cooldown while you wait. And let me go ahead and turn on my blood boil so I can attack this faster. And now they're going mid lane, I guess. They're kind of like, there's no one bot lane, so mid lane will definitely need a defense. It seems like the Anivia has been doing a good job. Timo didn't die, but I mean, like, someone took the mid turret, so that's pretty nice. And that's kind of what is a good thing. Let's see. Mystery meat. So, let's see. I kind of am considering going back into my counter jungling job. No. <laughs> so, I don't do much there. Considering, yep, I kind of suspected that he might suspect something. Okay, so she's going ahead and getting a few of these. Gonna get take some farm here. Tell I want Lux to be careful. If Olaf gets on her, it's a big point of trouble. What, someone's teleporting behind her. I'm guessing there's a shroom there. Okay, so. Olaf's not really fighting her, and I'm going to say the biggest threat right now is he's backing off, so we should probably try to save the Lux and get Teemo. Okay, I don't feel too much of a threat from him. If I have to, I'll flash. If I do have to, I mean, and I'll kind of stay around to keep him interested. Yeah, he does have a lot of power okay so like I said like he's really strong and I was hoping we could actually take him out I don't know how he didn't take him out considering our team has a lot of stuns and CC okay he's dead that's good and we only had a kind of the passive I'm gonna say defend here because that's more important right now as long as we don't lose our inhibitors because that will be a point of vulnerability because We'll definitely be much more vulnerable with our inhibitors and the super minions pushing in. Though I probably should have gotten out a bit sooner. I just kind of assumed that we were in a position where we could still take him. But you know we didn't. So let's see. I'm going to see if my red buff is still up. It might not be. But it seems like the jungle has been kind of being ignored. So I don't think... We could probably, like, we should probably try to make sure, like, we can get the next dragon and all. But, I don't think there's going to be too much of a struggle. Okay, yeah, and now they're teleporting top again. Which is just a pain, considering we don't want them pushing. If there was a war, oh yeah, I do remember him putting the war down next to the Teemo Shroom. I probably should have thought of that. But I didn't, sadly. So, yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to take him out, but he's coming back into the fray. So, we should definitely be able to take him out, and that's pretty good. He's kind of definitely getting way overconfident. It seems like, though, they took out Aatrox, dove him, and took out the turret or something similar to that. Aatrox is having a bit of a hard game, but it's understandable, because if you think about it, you know, he can be very strong. Yep, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Timo doesn't really scare me at this point. I'm much stronger than he is. Was that like a little bit of lag, or did he. Or is it just me that. on my screen that he teleported for? I don't know. I don't think he used any kind of thing like flash, or teleport, or. not teleport, but I mean, like, he kind of just m moved over a bit. Don't know why, to be exact. I don't think I'm gonna need to use my. Smite on too much anything now. Thank you, Varys. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. Yeah, I just kind of thought this would be a perfect moment to kill them all. I mean, I don't think there's anything to worry about. He's dead. I can totally take these minions and use them to heal off of. All of his mid lane, I don't think there's any real... Trundle's pushing top lane, but that's not something that should be hard to deal with. Specifically because what he is pushing, there's only a, a dead inhibitor. And all, so it's not like there's any real tragic thing we're going to lose if we do lose. So, I'm just going to take out these guys. 
Though I don't know why the Lux is leaving me because it's obvious that I'm having a bit of trouble. But I guess, you know, there's mid lane. Uh, minions are annoying. I don't have a lot of pure area of effect damage. Or do I have a lot of power in my auto attack? It's mostly kind of like... My strength is in the fact that I'm a bit tank. I'm tanky, but even then, I like I lose that tankiness when I come to fight the Trundle. So he's dead. I hope team team will probably put down a Shroom or something. Yeah, I don't really care. It's not the most amount of damage he has, so I'm gonna use that to kind of get the pink, so I can see his next like see any wards there are. So he's pretty much dead at this point. He gets a little bit of tankiness from the Nivea, but that wall kind of prevents him from getting close enough to enact his evil plans. And I don't know why he's Nivea still here. We just saw like a bunch of them coming in. We saw Timo and everyone, and we still need to protect our base. You know. So actually, while I still have the pink up, maybe I'll go around the top bit, apart top lane a bit, see if perhaps if there's a chance they put down a ward. If they did, I'll take care of it. Take him out. Snowball. On the minion with the 12 health that I probably didn't need a snowball. Give him blood br blood rush. Blood boil. So I'm going to start powering up blood boil. Considering I only got this. I kind of leveled this up bit, a bit. So I could see if I could get more health off of it. Let's see. Thinking about what I could and couldn't get I'd say right now I know this is not really effective in terms of money but I think right now one thing we will need is a thorn mail so I mean I'm just gonna get that because it's kind of a situation that demands for something to counter the Olaf and if I can get the thorn mail he will definitely take a lot more damage than he would otherwise Okay, they're going to try to block us off the turret, see if they can take it while we're not on it. But hopefully we can kind of go in and take it out. Like, now there's nothing they can really do to stop my ultimate. So, yeah, we should be able to take them out. Varus' ultimate probably is going to go on me. And, yeah, he's going to use his Q, but he didn't hit any of us. So, yeah, right now... Uh, did she step on a shroom? Dang it. I'm terrified now because I might just die from all the dot damage. So, yeah, we're fine. But, yeah, like I said, Timo's here now. He saw the chance to do something and he went for it. It seems like they took the turret, but we did get all off in the end. Right now, there's not much. I want to get this, but that's, that's all I want to get. So, now with that, I don't think we need to surrender. I think we still have a fighting chance. So, I don't want to, like, say we should give up. Let's see if I can't just get this out of the way. Take him out with my consume just for that extra gold because I really do want to get that thornmail as soon as possible. And next up on the list, I'm going to need Ranjin's Omen. That will be a big help. The slow. We need to watch out for Olaf. Got thornmail for him. Thornmail for him. Because you see, like, he gets a lot of auto attacks off, and if you look at this, it'll give, like, 30% of his damage before being reduced by my own defenses. So it should be incredible. I should get some strength against him. I walked straight into that. I, I realized that. And but the funny thing is they didn't really... Okay, I don't know why he ulted me unless he was going in. He's going to get a little bit of... Regen on his own health, but for the most part, he didn't have any real health to regen. Olaf's here. I'm going to slow him down. Uh. Okay, so at this point now, they'll definitely take some damage off of me. Uh. Got to get away. Timo's going to get away, of course. But we did get the Varus, and Trundle's now at bot lane. So let's see if I can't cut off the Trundle. I don't think he should be too much of a threat. He doesn't have his ultimate. And I do have my Q that heals me a bit. And if you guys check this, they're taking damage from themselves. Just because they're attacking me. 
So right now we've got to play a really defensive game, and I understand that. So that's pretty nice. Going to go for the health option simply because having the health, it's going to be the best because they have a mix of damage. I don't know why Anivia is kind of not, didn't turn on him. I feel like turning on Timo would have been good, especially now that Trundle's there. There's a good chance that, you know, she's going to die. But it seems like our team's handling it quite nicely. Oh, crud. We've got to stop him. I mean, backing right now would be pretty poor. Simply, I won't have enough any of anything to stop him. She's going to take it no matter what. But we're definitely going to be able to take him out. There's nothing he can really do. And if he attacks me, he's going to regret it. But our whole team here right now, there's nothing he can really do. So we're actually winning in kills, which is surprising considering how bad it seems like we're losing. But that's kind of like reinforces the point that I've said before. Kills don't matter truly as much as objective. They probably have, they have all the, they have a lot of gold, and even like Olaf, who who had a strong early game, is in a really bad pinch. He's getting killed a lot. He has a lot of deaths, but we're still having trouble against them simply because they have so much kind of like pushing strength, and the team fight is something that's something to fear. But I feel like if I can get a good ultimate off, that's probably like where it's going to all be the difference. Because it does so much damage. Like, if I let it charge, it just does damage by the plentiful. Okay, so right now, I guess, you know, I was hoping for some kind of assist. There's Timo Shroom's galore. So I'm going to have to kind of take them out. But at this point, I don't feel like we have too much to worry about. And if he is asking for assistance, so we shall assist her. Some ward might be nice, simply because we're going to need some more vision. Top lane is probably the next target, considering that the inhibitor is back up, so they'll probably want to take it down. At this point, I might as well just, you know, walk, you know? It gives you a little bit of movement speed and attack speed, so I use it to kind of put myself back into base faster. Going to get more health, of course. And as you guys see, I have a lot of health. Look at my team, I have the most health, so I'm going to have to be like the front liner. And this is all because I want to be able to stay in my channel for my ultimate as long as possible, meaning I'll need to be able to survive a good decent amount of time. So, that's the biggest reason behind it. I hope there's no like stream that I'm going to run into. Okay, so he flashed out of that. Okay, and he's dead no matter what. Lux used to ultimate, but that's fine. And right now the biggest problem would be going top lane. Like I said, that's where Olaf's aiming next. But I feel like he's not the biggest threat. He's going after Nivea, but it seems like he's going off of her. So as long as she survives, that's pretty well off. They'll take him down. And now I'm going to go off for him. Give myself the biggest speed Give myself some nice speed boost. And he even already flashed. I mean, I don't feel like I'm going to go and be able to do a lot to him, so I'm not going to continue chasing him for a while. But I'm just going to kind of scare him off, you know? Just eat the minions, stop them from pushing. I don't think there's too much else to do around here, you know? In terms, Aatrox is up to the side in case I need him, which is pretty nice. But now we need to really defend. He's probably looking for a fight, of course. Now they're going back bot lane, which of course is a nice kind of a idea for them to do. Considering just how much they need to take out inhibitors now. I wish I could have stopped from getting the turret. The thing is now they're able to attack us from all sides and we're very vulnerable on all sides. Which is kind of what they were hoping for. I mean, Anivia should probably be able to keep the Teemo off and Anivia is good at pushing and anti-pushing. <gasps> I feel as long as we do keep them off, it'll be fine. We just need to keep our inhibitors alive. Uh, I wouldn't run directly right into the shroom, but that's up to her and her preferences for life decisions. Like right now, if I can get onto them, I don't know where Olaf is. We haven't seen him for a while, which just kind of worries me. They have almost all the dragons, so all the drag, like all f four dragons, so. If they do get the fifth, which they might be the plan of Olaf, he's either going probably for Baron. Okay, no, he's now mid lane. 
I guess they also already have Varen, so it's technically not up for them to get. But, you know, I was just trying to think about all the different options they could be having on their side. Okay, he's dead no matter what. There's not much he could really do here. I mean, I don't even have to use my flash. One snowball should just do him in. Or not. But it's going to make it easy enough to do him in. Now I just have to back as fast as I can. It was probably a bad idea to chase him in my, in hindsight. But I didn't expect my team to just die at all. So I'm not too much of a I want to see how Varus, I fight against Varus almost. Simply because I'm not sure how how much the thorn mail really affects him. And that's kind of something I'm curious about. So I'm running off now. I don't think I need to worry about him. And now I'm going to go after the volleyball who's going after an inhibitor. That's either Olaf or Timo. And it's Olaf. So let's see if I can't get him to fight me. I mean, he's probably going to wait a bit. He's probably not going to go straight on me. But let's see how much damage I can get him to do to himself on me. So yeah, I'm like the worst person you can attack right now, especially with my thorn mail. So I'm going to say that the Thorn Mail was a very good buy. It kind of gives me a lot of strength that I didn't have otherwise to take out the t enemy team. Chase me instead of defend. Thanks. Go off. I mean, right now the inhibitors will come up. It's not too much of a problem. I feel like, like I said, it was a mistake of me and I'm not going to defend it to just chase him. But it's not the biggest mistake in the world considering, like, they haven't really gotten more than what they've had in the last few minutes. And just, if you think about it, we're kind of catching up. Not only are we getting a lot of kills, but simply, like, we're getting a lot of gold. So maybe we're not getting the best objective control and everything, but we're definitely doing something right. Because we're still in this. I would say I'm going to back off just in case Olaf teleports in. Olaf is the only real problem now. He could probably back to us if we let him. I understand that. And that fact that the towers are all down is even more of a ch ch chance for him. Because now he can go directly on the towers. But as long as we keep the minions off. And I'm going to let Anivia take all that farm. She should be able to take it out pretty easily. And I'm actually a pretty high level. I don't have any real fear of them at the moment. I mean, even if like, they go in like that... That's the key for me to do something else. Like, they can't really fight me. At this point, I can just walk away. Of course, they're kind of probably playing distraction for Olaf, which is the real big pain because we don't have much we can actually do here. And I don't have my ultimate anymore, which is my big team fight prowess, I guess you might say. So if they do turn on me, it should be... A big mistake on their part, of course. And another fact that I'm dead, I mean, I feel like we probably should have another kind of tank. And the fact that Aatrox lost lane was probably more of a reason for him to go tank than uh, otherwise. Uh, uh, hopefully we can kind of keep, at least take out the volleyball for our efforts. And it might be done here, but I feel like we did a pretty good job for a good while defending. But I feel like, all in all, it was kind of like an uphill battle the whole way down. And let's see if we can't just surrender. Because we'll be... Oh, no. Just kind of be like, let's surrender at the last second. So it will be a double explosion. But I guess, you know, there wasn't enough time for everyone to surrender. And I feel like that was a pretty good morning experience. Like, if you're new, new, I mean, I didn't get to do it chilled after it's set. But he's a control jungler. And I've heard this from a lot of people. Specifically Stonewall. He's a really... he's And he's pretty much the kind of guy who I would look... For to if I want to learn more about jungling and at this point like I feel like as a control jungle I should have been more in his jungle and taking his stuff and keeping him down and I mean like that's kind of what I did in the beginning I feel like we had a good early good early game in terms of that we stole his red buff he stole his Krugs and he couldn't really do anything to stop us but I feel like we had a really kind of like da bad team fight in terms of the way our team was built I mean, it could have gone better, but because the Aatrox was just losing, and he, instead of building tank, tried to build damage, he was always behind the Olaf. There was a few times where he traded kills, 
but I only saw like one instant of that, so I'd say if you're behind in any lane, you can't really like go super like aggressive. And only in top lane you'd build a lot more defensive. I mean, if you think about bottom lane, there's other builds like you'd have to go for a less expensive build. But that's enough of that of now. If you guys really need to know more, just ask me below in the ask me in the comments below any questions you have and I'll answer them. But if you guys did enjoy this video, remember to like and subscribe. And I hopefully you guys, if you do enjoy this video, you would want to vote for the straw poll about the video I'm going to play f about the champion I'll be playing for the next video. And in the next video, it'll be a uh, support champion. So I'll hopefully give you a good selection for you guys to choose from. And I'll see you guys next time on the League of Legends.